Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Nightmare Culture and today I'm so excited because we have some very exciting news. It was leaked that Supermassive Games is developing a Scream horror game. Hello? Hello Sydney. Now there's a lot of speculation that they will only have the Ghostface licensing to the game, kind of like Dead by Daylight. But of course, it's Supermassive Games. I think they're going to be able to acquire the Scream license. If so, we can see a mind-blowing game with characters and locations from the Scream franchise. I'm so happy right now. What I love about this idea and why I'm so excited about it is because it could be a great change of pace that we all need as horror fans. It seems though every single time a company acquires a licensing for a horror franchise or even a character, it's always an asymmetrical horror game, which I mean, it makes sense. But we all know that Supermassive Games is all about the interactive drama in a survival horror style. If this game happens and is very successful, which I believe it will be, this could lay the foundation for more games like that to come. We could eventually see a Friday 13th, a Michael Myers, and so on in this type of game style and kind of veer away from the asymmetrical horror game, at least for the time being. So what could we expect from Supermassive developing a screen game? We know Supermassive Games loves to do the cinematic, interactive games such as the Quarry, the Dark Anthology series, and of course, the best horror game of all time, Until Dawn, at least in my opinion. I don't recall asking your opinion, Peter. So we could expect to take over different characters' perspectives as they traverse through maybe Woodsboro or high school. There would be quick time events and decision making that could shape the entire story. And obviously, depending on what characters could die. This would be a whodunit setup, much like the films and kind of like the Until Dawn game. Now, of course, there could be a multiplayer mode. Much like Friday 13th, on the mode that they wanted to do that eventually was canned, which was a Among Us-style whodunit gameplay. That made no sense. So obviously, the possibilities are endless, but we know it's going to be an interactive drama cinematic game for sure they could bring a lot of characters from the screen world and this could be a massive hit so what do you guys think are you excited for a game like this and is it time for the horror icons to finally branch out outside of the asymmetrical horror games like evil dead friday 13th text chainsaw massacre dead by daylight just to name a few and finally get that story driven game instead let me know all that in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.